Dear friends, uh, now I'm going to talk about cardiac resynchronization therapy, also popularly known as CRT. Uh, another uh, popular name for it is by the pacemaking in patients with heart failure. Um, people always wonder what this is and what's its significance, uh, especially at a stage when we are learning about internal medicine and cardiology in general. Um, there are different forms of therapies available for heart failure. In addition to medications, the two uh, procedures that have revolutionized the treatment of heart failure, one is a biventricular pacemaker, another one is a ICD, also known as um, intracardiac defibrillator period. Um, so what is by, by V or also called as CRT? It simply stands for cardiac resynchronization therapy, which means in patients with heart failure that is pretty advanced, um, they have asynchrony of the left ventricle as well as interventricular septum. As a result, the contractions are not effective. Based on this hypothesis, when we pace both ventricles and allow them to contract at the same time, it results into an effective contraction. This was also evidently uh, proven on evidence-based medicine and multiple clinical trials. One of the major landmark clinical trial was companion. Period. So let's see who should get a CRT. CRT, there are indications for CRT or cardiac resynchronization therapy. Criteria number one is patients should have a heart failure, which is New York Heart Association classific classification uh, class three to four. However, more recently, class 2 has also been included in the category. Criteria number 2 is severe systolic dysfunction with ejection fraction, especially the left ventricular ejection fraction, should be less than 30%. Although there is some controversy there whether the data should be 30 or 35%. But majority of the people agree that 30% is the perfect cutoff. This ejection fraction should be after maximal medical management. And I will talk to you about what is medical therapy that involves heart failure. Criteria number three is interventricular conduction delay. That is, if, a, if you take a key EKG of these patients, their QRS is more than 120 milliseconds. Predominantly, if it is left bundle branch block morphology, then it um, makes a strong case for indication of CRT or also biventricular pacemaking. So that is the indication for placement of a CRT or BIV pacemaker. I want to show you the picture of it exactly how this actually uh, looks like in real world. So basically CRT, if you want to describe this to your patients, you can just tell that this is a type of special pacemaker where there are two leads. One lead which goes into the apex of the right ventricle, as you can see here. And the other lead, even though it goes in the right atrium, but wraps around the coronary sinus and goes into the left ventricle, as I'm trying to show here. And basically, even though it is sitting in the coronary sinus, it is pacing the left ventricle. Hence the term biventricular pacing. The right side paces the right ventricle and the left side pacemaker lead paces the left ventricle. Which means that the heart is being paced all the time. Remember, this is not heart rate based pacing. This pacing will improve the overall mortality in patients with advanced heart failure. This will also reduce hospitalizations and make a patient feel better. So in summary, CRT, also called as cardiac resynchronization, resynchronization therapy or biventricular pacing, means a special type of pacemaker for patients with advanced heart failure, which is indicated if they satisfy the three criteria that I've discussed. Thank you.